Hello friends, now we will see ABAP dictionary. The ABAP dictionary to create and manage data definitions, metadata. ABAP dictionary permits a central descriptions of all data used in the system without redundancy. Redundancy means same data. The ABAP dictionary supports the definitions of user defined type such as data element, structures and table types. In SQL, it consists of two types, DML and DDL. DML means data manipulation language and DDL means data definition language. In ABAP programming, DML part consists of queries, update, command such as select, insert, update, delete, etc. An ABAP program handles DML part and DDL part is handled by data dictionary or ABAP dictionary. DDL part consists of command such as create, table, create index, drop table, alter table, etc. ABAP dictionary handles DDL part of SQL. As you can see in this diagram, ABAP dictionary type definitions, it consists of structures, then it moves to table type and data element. The basic type in ABAP dictionary are data element, structures and table type. Data elements, describe a elementary type of defining the data type length, possibly decimal places. Structures with component that can have any type. Table type describes structures of an internal table. Table type describes structure of internal table. Table type. Now we will see ABAP dictionary achieves the following. Enforce data integrity. Manage data definitions without redundancy. It consists of seven types. Database table, views, data type, type group, domain, search help, lock object. We will all see this one by one with examples.